Your Grace. Detective Poirot, good morning. Can I assume there is still a murderer loose on the streets? London is a very large city. I would fathom a guess that there is more than one, as I have not had the chance to arrest him yet. Your confidence astounds me. Look, I'm meeting the young Russian girl here. She had some questions about the museum building at the gala. Questions I'm sure only I can answer. God teaches us to forgive and love thy neighbor. Sometimes that can be more challenging than expected. Has she offended you personally? Using the museum for her sordid meetings with those uncouth men? I'd say so. She doesn't strike me as someone that would be caught up in that sort of thing. And what sort of thing am I referring to? Well, I... Exactly. If you don't know, it would be wise to remain quiet until you're spoken to. I walked in on them in the restoration room a couple of weeks ago. I had come straight from my regular Sunday service, as I had some business to tend to. I opened the door and saw them all sitting there, scheming and planning. You are not aware of what they are meeting about. Do you need to wash your ears out? I just told you what they were up to. And... I could see she had the financial books out. Why would she need them, hmm? I'm not even privy to those. And when she saw me, they stopped talking immediately. Surely... Merci, Your Grace. Oh. Huh. Huh.
Oh. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Sionta was staring me in the face.
Bishop Mountjoy was quite adamant Mademoiselle Warbeck's meeting was something untoward. Although I believe anything she does, he will likely look upon negatively. To have a young woman undermine him in front of the other trustees would have been the ultimate insult. He allows his personal feelings to accentuate his cynical side, instead of allowing facts and evidence to show the truth, as one should. Mademoiselle Warbeck was doing nothing detrimental to the museum. In fact, quite the opposite with her attempt to modernize it, likely against the old-fashioned trustees' opinions. Mademoiselle Warbeck, if you have a moment. I'm actually rather busy. Is there any chance you could come back later? I would have thought recovering your painting and identifying a murderer would be at the top of your priority list. I'm sorry. It's just been so hectic here. I can spare five minutes. Honorable? That's a good one. I get the sense you two spend your time butting faces. Uh, butting heads. We oui, butting heads. It would be easier to say what we do agree on. I don't know what he has against me. I didn't like one of his suggestions for an exhibition. And since then, he's made it pretty clear he wants me gone. Is it necessary? You do not wish to impede my investigation? No, but I don't really understand what they have to do with the case. It is important that... Uh, that is quite all right, mademoiselle. It was not my intention to make you feel uncomfortable. Usually after an exhibition, the artist's work would be returned to them. But on this occasion, that is not an option. I still have every intention of going ahead with the exhibit that includes her work, even if the trustees are against it. I'm still the curator of this museum. I'm hanging her work now, and that's that. I recall Mademoiselle Cotsmythe referred to the exhibit as hers. A level of arrogance and hypocrisy is now even more evident. I wonder who you've been talking to. What did he tell you? That I've been up to no good? Not in so many worlds. I was meeting with artists for a new exhibition. He has no idea what he is talking about when it comes to art. Or really anything for that fact. He can't see the future. The new way that will change the art world forever. As well as the uncouth gentleman you met, he also mentioned the financial books. Uncouth? Anyone not wearing full priest robes is uncouth to him. I wouldn't show Horace the finances because it has nothing to do with him. And he's simply looking for any excuse to have me fired. Nothing more. Well, 
Well, considering he didn't want her work anywhere near the museum, I wouldn't have said they had one at all. Then the next thing I heard was that he had commissioned her to do some pieces for his church. I didn't know anything about it until Irene told me. Do you know what he had commissioned her to paint? No idea, I'm afraid. She was sworn to secrecy. You have been most helpful. Go on, then. You make it sound as though it is I that has a problem with her. Forgive me, have I misinterpreted her? If you cannot even understand what I have to say, how will you ever understand what Jesus and his Father in Heaven require of you. That is perhaps a matter best discussed at a later time. What I wish to know now is about you and Mademoiselle Warbeck. There is no need to lose one's temper, Detective. The Lord tells us... Your Grace, please. Ah, a lesson for another time. Let's just say that I certainly wouldn't have given that common thief an exhibition, especially now. Uh, you'll have to be more specific than that, Detective. The paintings produced by Mademoiselle Cotsmith's brush. Oh, yes. Well, I thought it was necessary if she was to feature in the museum. You couldn't just use her other pieces as reference? I, I suppose I could have, but I don't actually see why it is any concern of yours. It is not as though I kept it, anyway. I wasn't happy with it clogging up my bin, let alone my museum. Merci, Your Grace. 